Hello, we're going to boost the AI speed of an RTX 5060 Ti running the Gemma 327BQ4 model by 220% with an old GTX 1660. The VRAM bandwidth. Compared to the Asus Dual 5060 Ti 16GB, the EVGA 1660 Super 6GB is significantly smaller and slightly lighter. The 5060 Ti and the 1660 Super each have an 8-pin power connector. The 5060 Ti weighs 665 grams and the 1660 Super weighs 547 grams. Mounting the two GPUs on the motherboard. The second GPU can be mounted on this motherboard with a PCIe riser. On motherboards with good PCIe slot spacing there is no need for a riser as the second GPU can be mounted directly onto the motherboard. There's no hardware linking the two GPUs like NVLink or SLI. Software simply divides big AI models, placing them on each GPU's VRAM. 16GB on the 5060Ti plus 6GB on the 1660 Super. Total 22GB VRAM. Let's run Gemma 327BQ4 on 15060Ti 16GB GPU only. Five tokens per second. Now let's run Gemma 327BQ4 on the 5060Ti 16 gigabytes paired with the 1660 Super 6 gigabytes. Loading the Gemma 327B local AI model onto the two GPUs. The software splits the model, loads 14.4GB onto the VRAM of the 5060 and 5.3GB onto the 1660, as you can see. Say hi to warm up. Asking the local AI to write a 200 word story. The speed looks good. When paired with an old 1660 Super, the inference speed of the 5060 Ti jumped from 5 to 16 tokens per second, a huge 220% improvement. Do not get rid of your old GPU just yet.
Excluding the monitor, the system draws 72 watts at idle and 278 watts during a heavy AI workload. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching.